it's Lynn here. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day. Now, guys, I've got something really unreal to show you today. Now, you won't believe it. Well, I've got a few Venus flytraps, as you know, some carnivorous plants. And this is my Venus flytrap, Dionea B52. It's a wonderful gift from my fantastic friend, Chris. And it's growing amazingly. As you can see, it's flourishing. Anyway, every week I make a thorough check of my plants now. I go through them all and check for bugs. Any I see, I just pick off. And um, thankfully, it gets hold before it gets hold of any bad infestation. But I was checking over my uh, carnivores, and I thought, what's that in the middle of the track? A bit of white. And I looked at it close, got the magnifying glass out, and you will not believe it. It's actually a mealy bug right in the middle of the trap of this Venus flytrap. Now, you know, it's, it's sort of a bit amusing because obviously carnivorous plants and Venus flytraps, they catch bugs to eat and uh, they digest their juices and absorb it through their stems and that's how they uh, get their nutrients. But to actually get a mealy bug, actually have the cheek to actually not only get onto a carnivorous plant, actually get right bang in the centre of the trap. And not only is it right bang in the centre of its trap, it's also got eggs as well. See the white fluffy things next to it? That's actually its eggs. Can you believe it? Now, obviously I'm going to be picking it off. Um, I pick them off my plants and keep them at bay. And it's the difficult thing with carnivorous plants, particularly uh, Venus flytraps, is that you don't want to obviously set the traps off because it does weaken the plant if, if it sets off too many traps. Thankfully, I can only see size of mealybug on this one trap. The rest of the plant looks absolutely fine, so I've, ca I've caught it early enough. But obviously, the dilemma is picking it off the trap. It's going to cause the trap to close. Obviously, picking it off, I'm going to use a little bit of um, isopropyl alcohol at the end of a tiny little brush to uh, wipe these bugs off. And... Uh, it set the trap off but it's obviously better than leaving it to uh, manifest but I just wanted to show you because I just think it's bizarre <laughs> and uh, I, I just think it's quite wacky to actually have these mealybugs have the cheek to actually form in the middle of a Venus flytrap um, but uh, as you know these bugs will get everywhere anyway I want to send you loads of love heaps of happiness and tons and tons of happy growing as always from Ireland until the next video guys Bye!